evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Tops Allen and Ginter Baseball. This is four box random team break number eight. Second to last break of Allen and Ginter. The last one is in the store. That's in for that's it for Ginter for the time being, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so uh, this is random team break number eight from jazbeeshobbyland.com. One spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up, Sir Mix a Lot style. One of these days, they should put Sir Mix a Lot in Ginter. Um, no combos, but we do have a non-sport, non-baseball other category. And let's randomize each list. Five and a two, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we have Sen Yin on the pole and Eric O oh in the 30 spot. Five and a two, seven times for the teams. One, two. Wait, no, we do combo. We combo Tigers and Rays, sorry. I was like, I was like, I know we comboed some teams. All right, there we go. Seven times, once again. There we go, 30 items. There we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we have the Texas Rangers on top and the Tigers-Rays combo in the 30 spot. All right, so Sen Yin with the Rangers. Paul with the Cardinals. Jeff with the Reds. Amber, you have my Dodgers. Mario with the Padres. Eric O with the Mets. Rodney with the White Sox. Patrick K with the Royals. Sen Yin with the Brewers. John Okre with the Yankees. Just got Zach Britton, apparently, according to the latest news. Just breaking news. Eric O with the Nationals. Jeff, you got the Rockies. Eric O with the Phillies. Nick, last spot mojo. You have the Indians and you have the Twins. Patrick K with the Braves. Rick T with that non-sport, non-baseball other spot. Patrick with the Pirates. Rick, you got the Blue Jays. Mario with the Giants. Patrick with the Red Sox. Rodney with the Diamondbacks. Paul with the Mariners. Patrick with the O's. Scott with the Cubs. John with the Astros. Scott with the Angels. Amber, you got the A's. Patrick with the Marlins. And Eric O with the Tigers and Rays combo. Now, trades are allowed. So if you want to trade, feel free to go for it. Let's alphabetize by team. And Amber's wondering if Eric wants the A's for the Nats. She's a Nationals fan. No thanks, is Eric O. Here are the boxes right here. These, these are the last four boxes we have. Last four. There they are. All four. Last four boxes we have. Break number nine is already in the store, jazbeeshobbyland.com. And I'm sure that'll sell out pretty quickly because that'll be our last break of Allen and Ginger Baseball. Looks like no other trades. Trade window closed. So let's print this guy out and let's do it. Good luck, boys and girls. All right, so let's pop this guy open. We've been having a lot of fun with this Ginter. We usually do. We usually do pretty well with it. Each year we do this. I'll open all of the box toppers at the end, so we'll just slide it just off to the side. So there's the uh, the final official printout. Once it's printed out, it's set in stone. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Now, I don't think we saw... Did we see a rip card in this? 
We, I know we did the first third of the case. I don't remember. We did it on Sat Friday or Saturday, so I don't remember. Uh, it was a long time ago. I don't remember what came out of there. But if someone remembers, let me know. Uh, no, as TJ is saying, Landon, we have not seen any box topper autos, nor have we seen a book. So we have to check that off our Allen and Ginter bingo card. See if we can maybe get a book or a box topper autograph. Now, some of the more rare stuff, I feel like... You know, are pretty tough, so I'm not. You know, I'm not. I won't be disappointed if we don't see one of those. But it'd be nice to, but I won't be disappointed. But like, I feel like we should have seen a book by now. Gilo's wondering why this one's. Uh, well, some of them are that size on a smaller size. Some of them um, are the actual size of the box. That that one is um, is more square shaped though. Kind of has a more of a square look as opposed to the the classic rectangular look. I'm assuming those can be autographed too. I think both can be autographed. All right, next little stack here. I feel like the odds on our book are pretty decent, aren't they? I mean, better than finding a dinosaur tooth, I think. I feel like it'd be easy to, well, easier to find a book over a dinosaur tooth. Like, I want, do I want to see a dinosaur tooth? Yes, of course. I, you know, is it realistic to expect us to find a dinosaur tooth ASAP? Probably not. It'd be nice, but probably not. I thought we'd see a, a topper autograph or a book by now. I don't know, we'll see. I got three boxes to go. No book here, but three boxes to go. And behind Sean Doolittle is a mini Bryce Harper piece of his jersey. We were discussing a little bit earlier. If the Nationals reach, if by next week they're they're behind seven, eight games, do they consider trading Bryce Harper at next Tuesday's deadline? Maybe. And we'll save all the minis right here, and then we'll take a look at the backs of those to see if any of those are numbered. Uh, Ray, we saw that. Yeah, John H. John H. John Hyenga. Uh, we saw a Bleacher Report and John Hyenga on Twitter report that about 15 minutes ago. Britain a deal apparently to the Yankees. Allegedly done. I mean, they got medical stuff, contracts. But I'm sure all that will be figured out. The mini autograph is is going to be Cool Whit Merrifield. Cool Whit. That goes to the Royals. Patrick K with KC. Nice. There's Alex Verdugo. He just got called up again. It's part of the Dodgers comeback yesterday against Philadelphia. I always thought that the Dodgers would trade or, or, or that Verdugo would be part of a big uh, a big trade. And that's why they weren't really calling him up. It looks like they are. With Justin Turner on the DL, he got the call-up. There's Evan Longoria. I think it would have been Andrew Tolles, but I think he's battling a bit of a, a bit of a hip issue. All right, Evan Longoria, piece of his lumber going to the Giants. That'll be for Mario. Yeah, the mini ship. They're they're considered uh, inserts. They're considered different from the just the standard commons. 
So yeah, all, all of these always ship. Um, I have not seen Last Chance You, although someone else recently recommended that to me too. I'm familiar with what the show. I just haven't seen it. Is, is it on the Netflix? I think it's on the Flix, right? Can I rent it from Blockbuster? Is it at Blockbuster? I mean, that's a lot easier, right? Going to Blockbuster and just picking that up. I'm sure they have it there. All right, let's see what's on the backs of these. These little guys. Nothing. All right, next box. Good luck. The last third of the case in the store already, folks. JaspiesHobbyland.com. We'll open all four of those toppers at the end of the four boxes here. I, I do love a good football documentary, Adam. So, yeah, I just got to get around to it. I got, I got too many things to read and watch. Ladies and gentlemen, I have to, I feel like I, I feel like I need some sort of uh, some sort of flu, maybe an H one N one. I should get an H one N one. Get knocked out for two weeks. You know what I mean? As I recover from that, and then I can just binge watch a bunch of TV shows, watch a bunch of uh, watch a bunch of movies and TV shows that I need to catch up to, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Oh, we got someone in the uh, Twitch stream asking how much of the... Uh, it's on the site, Hickory. JaspiesHobbyland.com. Like, I, I don't know the price. That's why I'm making you go there. 30-something uh, for two teams? I feel like that sounds right. Adam, when are you, when are you coming to California? Yeah, if you want to break for a week, you can break all the uh, Bowman Baseball... The Allen and Ginter, the Donners Optic Football, and I'll do the ten minute breaks. I'll do the Ultimate Collection Hockey, the Flawless. I'll do that. We'll set we'll set up a, we'll set up a ten case Bowman baseball break for you. Uh, there's another there's another third of this case posted on the website, folks. Jaspieshobbyland.com. So if you missed out this time, the other case should go off. So, or the other the final third of this case should go off tonight. So check it out. Next May, that's like a year from now. You, you gotta you gotta remind me like you gotta remind me, Adam. Like next February. Like we don't even have a calendar that goes to next May. Otherwise, I'd write it down in the calendar. You know, like, what? we can't, otherwise, you just have to remind us in, like, February, when we get a new calendar, basically. And then we can write down Adam Stone's coming into California. All right, next box, ladies and gentlemen. So let's breeze through these. You're giving us one year notice. Well, that's good. I appreciate that. Bossman will appreciate it. that's true. He likes a good he likes a good heads up. There's Alex Wood. That is for Amber and my Dodgers. There you go, Amber. Well, if anybody's if anybody's visiting us, you know, in the next three or four months, definitely let us know. We'll 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 get you on our in-store calendar. I forget what our what's what's our calendar up, Jack? Is it? 
It's on there. Is it National Landmarks? Yeah. Oh, we got Park. National Parks. We have a nice 12-month National Park calendar. Seen some, seen some nice National Parks, some good places that I want to go someday. All right, behind this plum is I Dream of Jeannie. Jeannie Bouchard, mini autograph. There you go. The easy on the eyes Canadian tennis player. Curtis says she's too she's out of my my dating height range. I can make it work. I can make it work. This goes to Rick T with the non baseball spot. There you go, Rick. I'll make sure this gets to you and doesn't end up on my mantle. <laughs> All right. See you, boss man. Feel better, sir. All right, so we got boss man came back from a big family event. He's a little under the weather. He's going to rest up. He'll be fine. If her auto, Mike Tower, if, if her auto said, hi, Joe, my, 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 you would see, you would see my head explode on camera. You know, and then I'd, and it'd be like, what, what kind of inception is happening here? This is, this isn't Topps Inception Baseball. How did this happen? This is, this is Alan Ginter. There's Trey Mancini, relic for Patrick Kay and the O's. Gilo, you were you were in Long Beach last October. You should you should have visited us, or did we not exist in your head last October? Well, folks, if you get if if you get within within an hour or two, uh, if we get within an hour or two of Jaspie's Hobbyland, you got a you definitely have to visit San Diego all the way up to say Santa Barbara. Well, you guys should come visit. All right, how many train whistles? If this actually said "Hi, Joe," I'm not sure, but I would definitely take a picture of it. I would tweet her. I think she's pretty active on Twitter. I I don't know what her. T I'm, not, I'm such a uh, such so, so bad at this. So bad at stalking. I don't know what her Twitter handle is. I'd have to find. I'll tweet it out to her, and then, you know, see where that goes. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll offer. I'll offer in and out burgers and uh, and milkshakes to her for our date, obviously. See what happens. Um, you're welcome, Rick. That's a good that's a good hit. Uh, please explain this product to me, says Ordinary Gamers. Ben, who's in Australia, of course. We do broadcast coast to coast and all around the world. Um, this is a quirky sort of product that includes a lot of non-sports stuff uh, or other sports and non-sports stuff. Alan Ginter was an old uh, tobacco product back, uh, if I'm not mistaken, an old tobacco company in the late 1800s or something like that. And they also included um, trading cards in there. And before, trading cards weren't necessarily of baseball players, but they would also include like other quirky things. It would be like you know, the 1887 World's Fair or something like that. You know, they'd include that. They'd include, like, other celebrities of the day. You know, including ballplayers who are obviously burgeoning celebrities, but other people as well. So, true to that tradition, when this brand was revived uh, as a tra uh, strictly a trading card, non-tobacco brand, it, it, it stuck with that tradition of including... Um, all sorts of uh, of goofy stuff. Breakwise, no, they're they're not random. Uh, they already were randomized to someone. So Rick T got randomized that non-sport, non-baseball slash other spot. So there was already a predetermined spot. And in our pick your team breaks, there were already here, there it is right here. And in our pick your team breaks, there were a purchasable spot. I think. What do we sell that spot for in a, in a six box pick your team? 90 bucks or something like that? 80, 80, 90 bucks? So 
Oh, nice. Mike Tower with the actual names on Wikipedia. John Allen and Lewis Ginter. There you go. Allen and Ginter providing the best smoking tobacco products of the late 1800s. So Stephen K saying that spot was 90 bucks. So there you go. So, about, so that's a $90 spot that Rick T got randomized to him for 30 something bucks. So yeah, so it's it's pretty quirky. That's why you see, um, that's why you see like uh, world talent cards, and you'll see like beaches of the world cards, and you'll see like the mini cards with, with like phobias and stuff like that. I think that's a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption, folks? I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh, it is. Any guesses on that? We'll get that at the very end here. Mike, what's going on? Thanks for watching. And then it's got that quir the, then it's got that sort of old school sort of watercolor uh, kind of look kind of painted sort of look and that's part of the the feel as well. I think if you look um, if you look at the old well, actually a lot of times they include um, old buybacks of these mini cards from back in the day. So there'll be like a a rare bird tobacco card from the 1800s. You know what I mean? We've pulled one of those a few years back. And th those will be like a one of one. It'll be a buyback from that original 1800s set. And you and you can pull things like that out of this set. There's Miguel Sano, Jersey. So sometimes some of the most valuable cards in this set is not necessarily like an autograph of a ball player. So Amber guessing Kershaw on this. Otani for Stephen K. Tyron Liu is the guest. Tony Hawk. I'd like to pull a Tony Hawk. Method Man. That'd be cool. So, yeah. So you got stuff like that. There's another product that Amber mentioned a little bit earlier, Ben, was, uh, was Gypsy Queen. That's also a similar style product. A similar style product, but I think that's there's far less quirky stuff, like far less hot peppers and world's greatest speeches. So there you go, Ben. That that's your that's your primer your primer primer. I'm not sure how that's pronounced, but there's your P R I M E R of uh, for Allen and Ginter. We do have a third of a case left, folks. Our last break in the store, jaspieshobbyland.com. Mike Tower. Shh. Mike Tower. Easy now. We weren't saying anything. Mike Tower is like, don't want to start trouble, but is Mr. Nightbot the precursor to Skynet? Shh. All right, there's Steven Strasberg. There she is, ladies and gentlemen, in case you weren't sure who she is. There you go. I don't know how, I actually don't know how old she is. She may, she may still have some room to, to develop into maybe like a, a, a tennis player who could maybe win some majors. It's a possibility. So she's, it's not like she's like a, like a Anna Kornikova. Um, you know, I think some of them, some of you may remember Bouchard from, um, from, I think there was like, there was like a Super Bowl bet that she made with like a random person on Twitter. Sorry, Walker Bueller, a random person on Twitter and said, oh, hey, if the, if the Patriots come back and win this game in the Super Bowl, then, you know, then, uh, then like, uh, you know, the the guy on Twitter was like, you got to go out on a date with me or something like that. And then it happened. And then she came through. I, I, I don't know. I think they went to like a basketball game or something like that. So which I thought was, that was pretty cool of her. I don't think a lot of celebrities or big names like that would, would do something like that. It could be Method Man on this redemption, ladies and gentlemen. The M-E-T-H-O-D Man. 
you are due. Let's get Chris Davis out of the way. You are due to receive Allen and Ginter framed mini autograph black frame parallel. Is that a one of one? Someone confirm. Or I'll look it up. Allen. I'm assuming that sounds like a one of one. No, it's an out of 25. All right, thanks, Chris Torres, and thanks, CardboardConnection.com. Okay, mini parallel of M, Method Man, A, that's not how you spell Method Man, Man Manny, Mad Dog, Maddox, I actually don't know who the, Madison, 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 Madison Keys. I thought it was be Madison Bumgarner. No, not not Madison Bumgarner. Madison Keys, um, I believe, is another tennis player. Yes, this time an, an American tennis player. There you go. So that's another tennis player for Rick T. There you go, Rick. This, of course, goes to the. The non baseball spot. All right, and that'll be out of twenty five. Madison, sign your cards. All right. Let's see what the backs have right here. And then we have one more box to go. Jaspieshobbyland.com once again has our... Ah, there we go. Starlin Castro. Jaspieshobbyland.com has another four boxes. And that'll be our last break ever for the time being for that. All right. Starlin Castro for the Marlins. 23 out of 25 on that mini. And that'll go to Patrick K on the Marlins. <laughs> Mike Tower says, we need eminent tennis. I don't know if our tennis audience is as strong is strong enough to sustain that that particular break, Mr. Tower. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. I'm sure we'll try our best. I mean, I guess they could. It would be cool to actually. I am kind of a big tennis fan. If they got like, if they got like old school, a lot of old school uh, men and women in that set. You know what I mean? I feel like, I feel like it could, uh, I feel like it could do okay. We've got the Williams sisters in there. We've got, I don't know, who are some other, like, Martina Hingis, you know, you can kind of get those old names. Sampras, you know, you can get Sam Agassi in there, get Jimmy Connors in there, you get some of those old school guys in there, get some cut autos of old, old tennis players from back in the day. I mean, I think if we get if if they could add some of that stuff in there, you could probably get a uh, yeah a, a, a Jimmy Connor John McEnroe dual auto. Yeah, you gotta get Kornikova in there. Gotta get Sharapova in there. A lot of big names. You uh, you you would be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, how many tennis players you know. Federer's got to be in there. Um, you know, you'd be surprised. Rafa, you gotta get Rafa Nadal in there. They could make a yeah, like like an Arthur Ashe cut auto. If they if they do it nice and classy, like that could be that could be a nice centerpiece to a uh, to an to a tennis pro tops. I don't know. You seem to be having. You seem to have some access to tennis players tops. You know, I feel like you could do like a you can do like a high end, an ultra high end tennis set. I feel like we can make that work. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So John Oakley saying Sharapova, Serena, and Macro have already been in Ginter. So Tops must have access to those to those graphs. So make like a nice high end tennis set. A relic of Pete Sampras's eyebrows. Yes, Amber. Amber, that that would be pretty solid. I could go with that.
Yep, get get grass relics from Wimbledon, clay relics from the French Open, a piece of the hard court from the U.S. Open. That'd be awesome. And, wow! A double rib card, Ichiro and Otani. What? And it's a randomizer. Mariners, Ichiro, Angels, Otani. 15 out of 15. Ooh. Ooh. Hot. Where's the fire alarm now? Go, fire alarm. Dang. All right. One happy person. One happy person will be possibly Scott McNulty with the Angels or Paul Cool Whit, who got randomized the Mariners. Jackie, well, Jackie's even in. She wants to look at it too. To rip or not to rip? Oh my god. <laughs> to rip. Oh, he's on, he's on the other side right there. Double rip card, ladies and gentlemen. Rip it. Or keep it. Don't rip it, everyone says. All right, so good luck to either Scott McNulty with the Angels or uh, Paul Cool Whit with the Mariners. Oh, that's true. Wait, th actually, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Cool Whit reminding us that car is going to Baton Rouge anyway because Scott McNulty and Paul Cool Whit. Our buddies. Oh man. Well, I guess I guess I don't feel so bad. Maybe both guys will be happy. They can hang out together. And well, one person may get the the glory, but but at least both of you can check it out. Wow. Now, it could be The, the question in those rip cards are, 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 are you guys will, will arm wrestle over it? If you guys put that on video, we'll definitely try to make it go viral as much as possible. <laughs> they, 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 could, they could share. Yeah, you guys could rip each side. Nick LaPlante's right. You know, maybe you guys rip together. You know, we got, we've got Paul on one side, his, his friend Scott on the other side. Well, traditionally, the unripped cards, Seth, will go for a lot of money just because of the, ooh, the possibility inside, right? You don't know what's going to happen. Because you can end up with, no, no offense to Lucas Sims, but what if it's just a Lucas Sims one of one inside? And you're like, okay, that's cool, but it's Lucas Sims. Now, one wonders, one wonders, should you rip it? Because there may be something incredible inside. They wouldn't put something not cool inside, right? Or would they do you like that? Crew says, yeah, they can share it. Like, 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 a, like the Stanley Cup. There's Jose Barrios, jersey for the Twins. I don't have a magnet, nor do I have a Bell and Howell attack light to shine onto it to see what's inside. Nick, who has a twins, says, I, I can rip that Jose Barrios. That's not a rip card. 
All right, let's take a look on the back here. All right, so nothing on the back there. All right, still going to randomize that. Scott McNulty is wa now he's watching. All right, let's do the box toppers before we do that randomizer. First of all, let's actually move the camera angle up a little bit. There's Mark McGuire. All right, see you. Yep. Yeah. Next box topper, Honus Wagner. Oh, that's not going to be autographed. There's Honus Wagner. Uh, that obvious. That's a uh, A's edition of Mark McGuire. That'll go to Amber. The Honus mm -hmm. Wagner for the Pirates will go to Patrick K. Another Mark McGuire for the A's and Amber. And then this little guy is. Clayton Kershaw, it's a regular old Clayton Kershaw topper card. No auto there, but still nice. That'll go to the Dodgers, Amber with that one as well. All right, now the moment you've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, the double rip card, Otani Ichiro, 15 out of 15. So let's go to random.org. Let's get the the front of the card. Was the front of the card was actually Ichiro Mariners, and then Otani Angels. Robert roars like you guys could sell the card and split it since since see this is going to either Scott McNulty with the Angels who got randomized the Angels or Paul Coolwit with the Mariners. They're they're buddies in real life, real life buddies. Um, but looks like Scott playing for keeps he's like he could visit it anytime i don't i don't think they're gonna i don't think they're gonna be selling it and splitting the profits all right let's roll the dice let's randomize that six and a five almost full 12 times six and a five 11 times one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, and 11th and final, <laughs> that's right, William, I just read what you said, real life buddies no more after this, 10, and once again, 6 and 5, 11th and final time, team on top, it flips to the Seattle Mariners, it goes to Paul Cool Whit with the Seattle Mariners, and there it is, the double rip card coming your way. Are you going to rip it or are you going to keep it? Pretty amazing. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another four boxes of Ginter in the store. More potential magic like this stuff in the final third of that case. Check it out on jazpiecehobbyland.com. There might be another rip card in there too. So get your spot and let's see what happens. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.